Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the C20 by Neurome. Uh, this is a conference calling type tower, speaker, camera, all included out of this planet with far field of view, full duplex, whatever that means. But it's a lot of digital suppression going on in this thing and you can really hear it through the audio coming up soon. You can hear a lot of digital presence. You get some manuals, a quick start guide, but this thing's basically plug and play just like a webcam would be. Uh, you do get a full-fledged manual, but we don't need that. Uh, you get the box that has a warranty QR code on it, uh, and you get the Type-C cable, which is a nice, thick, hefty cable. And here's the unit itself. Sort of resembles uh, an Echo Dot on the top of a tower like the old do you remember the first speaker that amazon came out with it kind of looks like that there's the 100 degree field view camera there which is nice uh everything's touch sensitive on the top those those aren't actual buttons it's got a good grip this thing is grippy grip 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 and then whenever you tilt it i was curious what, at what point would it tilt over let's take it to the limit take it to the limit okay right there so you get a good tilt you get a good bump oopsie space kind of built into there the uh, USB Type-C would go into the bottom and has a good little outlet on the back carved in the bottom of it there. The steps are super easy. Plug it in, play, switch some things. That goes over some zoom settings for it. Nothing crazy. There's your top section there that you want to see. it. We'll go into detail with that later. Uh, so basically the quick start guide is over. Slide in your Type-C and just plug it into the computer and you'll automatically get these lights. Some audible stuff, letting you know it's good to go. You'll see it on the screen. Change these in the sound settings menu. Just search sound settings and that'll come up. There's two things to change, your speakers and your microphone input. Switch those over uh, and you're basically just good to go and it'll work on almost all your programs that you get. If not, go into the software and check and make sure. Uh, this is volume up, down. Uh, you can long press it and the volume will go up and it makes an audible sound when it maxes out on the up or down. And also, you can turn off the mic at one push, turn it back on with another push, and the camera, and it's all color notifications, which are great. I headed over to the Neurom site just to see if there was some firmware to update, and lo and behold, it says it at the top, firmware update. Hmm, click it, go to this weird site, download the software to the Windows, right there, click we're starting the download process now pulls up a window to device and then update and then there's my firmware list you can click that arrow right there and it'll show you a whole list of the past firmwares but we're gonna start the update and when you do that uh, you'll be notified of, a, of it up, updating with the light blinking in and out and there's a list of some of the past firmware updates so that might help you track it uh, I don't know so you can I guess kind of see what the next updates gonna be when you go to it, all of it's been updated for bug fixes, and it makes a little clear signal whenever it's done updating so that you'll know. And here at the bottom of the screen is the company that supplies the update. So here's the Neurom camera in extreme low light. You'll notice the kind of pixelated looking look as it lightens up everything, but this is completely dark. There's one light back here. I'm going to turn that off right now. Now, every single light is off. I like the idea of this. I like plug and play option works. I can mute just like really quick if I need to. Now it's unmuted and it's visibly, it's, you can tell that. And I can turn off the feed just like this. Or bring it back just like that. And there's no question that those things are off by the color ring on the top. That's a big plus. If you wanna go do something while you're in some kind of Zoom meeting or something like that, it's very noticeable, the condition of the camera. And it's on the camera body itself, not in confusing software that might be built into the video, uh, sharing stuff that you might have going on through a meeting. Now, we're completely dark. This is completely dark. I would not ever want to film in this. So it's the fact that I'm seeing this handle this in this manner 
is fantastic because it looks like I have all the windows open. Look, I'll show you around. Everything is closed. That's way brighter than it really is. It's dark outside. All the lights are off. It's really dark in there, but it brightens it up. There's one lamp. That's the single lamp on. There's a little aquarium in the background, but it's not a lot of light at all. It just lightens everything up in a really good way. And also, I did uh, update the firmware, so I did uh, show that earlier. But uh, So this is handling the newest firmware, and it looks really good. I like it. I like the height. Here's the, right here, standard laptop here. I think it's 15 inch screen or something like that. It's perfect. It's like right at the height of my laptop webcam built into the screen. So if you're used to doing it off that, that kind of height, this is exactly 15 to 17 inch laptop. If you're working with that, that height is exactly where you're getting with this tower here. But you can use this as a Bluetooth speaker when you're working. <laughs> natural light. Look at this. All these windows are open. It's an overcast day, so it's kind of perfect. If I was outside filming, that would be kind of almost boring. It's a little darker than I would want to film in, but it is 3.27 p.m. overcast. So, yeah, that's all natural light through three windows coming in here. I'm going to adjust the brightness with the slider here. This is 128 by default. So if I take the brightness down, see that's not... Looks like doo-doo. Uh, let's take it back up to the... I can go way too bright, washed out. And that's kind of the default for what the built-in camera record app that's on uh, Windows. Windows 11. That's what we're on right now. So yeah, that's it with natural light. I'm going to turn on the lights that I might would want to use to film in. And we'll hopefully highlight the other side of my face. And here we are now with lighting all around. And I do use kind of the correct lumens, like 50, I think it's 5500 Kelvin lumens that I went to through with all the lighting in the entire house is uniform lumens because I record videos a lot and I may be in every single room in the house. So I wanted to make sure that I had good lighting for video. So there's decent lighting in here for that. So this is where you're going to see all these wrinkles. Good God. Need to get a Face pull like that. When you do hit record, there's an audible breach from the camera unit itself. So you know when you're recording and you can and then bring it back, the audio, and then you can uh, blank out the camera feed as well while you're recording, which is really cool. Uh, it doesn't disrupt the software. It's all built into the camera, like I said earlier, which is great. So now that you see this, I'm going to shoot over. And then we'll do a recording real quick of the built-in uh, webcam that's in all you guys' laptops. Here it is. Now, the mic should probably still be picking up, I think, from this unit over here because it makes the blink noise and all that. But we're just utilizing the webcam. And that looks like dookie. Like, pretty bad. And this is what you all are accustomed to using here, which is not good. Okay? And now we're going to go back to the unit. See the field of view? It just pops in. This is a comfortable field of view territory that we're in here. I really like that. And you can zoom in and crop this out however you would want to whenever you're in a meeting or doing whatever. Or you could just bring it closer if you need to. Like right now, I'm at the end of the keyboard. Like the keyboard's like right there. So this is about two inches into my laptop in front of me. So this is honestly a foot and a half away from my face. So now let's move it up. A foot. So here we are, a foot away from my face, and it looks really good. I like the field of view. I like the closeness of it. It's kind of intimate, but you could easily back this out for a conference. And now you can bring in like two other people. You have three adults sitting here comfortably. Let's back it all the way back out. Look, it's my laptop, and you're three inches behind the laptop. So it is a wild, wide field of view, and all the specs. Will be listed down in the YouTube description. It'll link down there to that 
That'll give you all the specs that you might need. Okay, so you're six feet away from me, uh, which is a chunk of distance. Hey, uh, you can get an entire boardroom of people in here if you needed to. Let me, I, I, if you were centered over, I think you would be able to get in uh, all the chairs that would go on the table, which is really cool that it can do that. And if it can't, just set it back on something against a wall, leave one person not sitting in the seat there, remove the seat, and you got a wide field of view. You stagger the chairs out down into a V to the person sitting at the end. You can get everybody in. And everyone speaks. Hopefully it comes across and you can hear me. Now I'm going to play some really loud, the loudest possible background sound I could get of street background noise, which I think is usually used for people that want to sleep with street noise. Oh, hey, I'm here for the meeting. Nobody missed anything. It's kind of noisy out there with the city streets going. We're right here in the city with all the windows open, apparently, because it is really loud. Uh, hopefully that is automatically blocking out some of that background sound. And you can hear me. So let me lower my voice over this super loud speaker playing city traffic to a typical uh, noise that I might make here. This is typical coffee. So I'm talking to someone six feet away from me would be this voice here. So hopefully it can isolate me and uh, you're not picking up too much of that traffic noise because it is insanely loud. Like this is replicating, you're doing a good job of replicating sitting out inside in a city traffic scenario and trying to hold a conversation. It's that loud and realistic, really. So kudos on that noise and that Google Hub with the screen audio. The speaker's really loud. I'm just talking, trying to uh, keep the conversation going to see how it ends in and out. And I'll be quiet and see if it focuses on the traffic noise. So, how is the mic quality on this thing? That's important, right? You want to get the point across. In noisy situations, it does the sound robotic. And there's, you know, that typical, what's trying to isolate, it's trying to do the Lord's work, um, doing the best it can, I guess, but there is this robotic sound to it. So the weak point of the whole thing might actually be the microphone, but it kind of did cancel out a lot of the noise. When I say it was a loud noise, it was extremely loud. So it's like worst case, you got a taste of that. But um, I think it will ring out everyone speaking while trying to cancel out the background as much as possible and i don't know if you can really make a good voice out of all that there's a lot of electronic stuff going on and it comes through in the sound from the microphone but i guess it's trying to do as much as it can do but that's the weakest thing with this setup i would say is the mic and again we're like super close right now so here's the mic super close if you wanted to hear it compared to six feet away. And so this has been my review of the Neurome conference camera system webcam. I don't think it's necessarily for a conference room, but it has got a great field of view to it, which I do like. So yeah, it kind of has a conference call. So as intimate as a webcam that I'm going to bring in the edges just to include one individual. This is trying to stretch it out with that 100 degree, I think it is, field of view and try to incorporate as much people in, in it as possible while maintaining a comfort uh, look to it, which it does. It doesn't warp the edges. There's no fisheye effect, which is great. So I do really like this speaker. I think it's going to be a great addition to your team, to your work team, to you as an individual, to your office. If you share one with someone else, and you might want to be incorporating them in, in a video call. Or if you work, like I said, with a close team, whatever that would be, and incorporate everyone in that, it would work good as well. It would work great just sitting in the office as a speaker, just playing in the background. Uh, it would do great as well. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that bell so you can notify the next product that I got coming out. So yeah.